everybody, Bill Bruner, Hybrid Camera Revolution, and uh, this is a great uh, opportunity. Uh, I've been able to get an interview with Dan May, president of Blackmagic Design North America, and I want to thank Kerry DeBoer of the press office for getting this for me. I, I uh, have to uh, acknowledge that I emailed them late and they came through, and what a great company. So. Thanks, Dan, uh, for making the time. Yeah, not a problem. We're happy to be here at NAB talking about some of our new and exciting releases at this exciting show. Perfect, and it is exciting. Uh, five years ago, I was telling you I bought this camera, and uh, here we are with the upgrade. The screen's a little bit bigger than it was. Yeah, you know, this is definitely the intellectual successor to that pocket cinema camera. And it is larger, and it does kind of have more of a weight to it, but we really felt like it was still a personal camera, and that's why we kept that pocket cinema name, even though it is obviously doing 4K and it is larger. But this is what people have been asking for for years from us, a big camera that still fits in the size of your hand, gives you that 4K and Ultra HD capabilities, but all the little things that they loved about the original camera, the MFT lens, the 13 stops of dynamic range, recording to ProRes and raw formats, you know, these are the things that made people love working with the pocket cinema camera. So we've taken and kept all of those things, but we've kept adding all the things that people have been asking for over the years. Wanting that XLR input, a little, little mini XLR input to be able to do phantom powered mics, because while the mics are great for scratch sound that are on there, it's great to have that phantom powered mic. Doing things like adding the photo button up in here, so when you're not recording, you can just take that DNG still and shove that over into like a little photo folder, because it's great to when you're not shooting just click, 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 be able to have a few of those photos on hand. New transport controls all around, function buttons that can be pre-programmed, being able to have user uh, loaded LUTs in here, just everything we can really think of to be able to add in some more functionality. Of course, this is all running now the Ursa Mini OS, so we're gonna see things that are gonna come across from the Ursa Mini as well. Um, being able to record to see fast cards as well as SD cards. New technology like USB-C, being able to send out files or actually being able to record directly to a USB-C drive. You know, these are the type of things that we really feel like this is a brand new camera that still keeps everything people loved about the pocket cinema camera, but in a whole new form factor that makes people feel really comfortable out today and say this is a camera that they want to work with. And at a price of $12.95, we've decided to include DaVinci Resolve 15 with it as well. So really a home run we feel like it's been for us and the show has been tremendous and the feedback we've gotten from our customers. Great, and the price is essentially the same as it was five years ago for this camera, plus Resolve Studio, so. When you think about adding Resolve Studio in there, the delta of 995 to 1295 makes it a little easier for everyone to say, look, it's a lot of camera, a lot of upgrades, plus you're getting DaVinci Resolve. We really think that everyone's quite pleased with where we've been able to price this camera. Right, and uh, for people like me who are shooting with the GH4, which is what you're watching this on right now, and we're thinking about upgrading to their next camera, uh, this sort of makes a big difference because I really liked the color science, the 10-bit and the 12-bit, and that's just not available in any other camera in this price range. Of course, for Blackmagic Design, we're always thinking about post-production workflows. We're a company that's kind of founded in post-production, so not only do we have that great DaVinci Resolve color science that we've been able to apply to the Blackmagic Design cameras, being able to have the option to record in true RAW, or RAW 3.1, RAW 4.1 compression, as well as create ProRes codecs like ProRes HQ, ProRes 422. Now, these give Give you the flexibility to be able to have a great camera that's going to give you the best post-production workflow we believe possible today. Right, so uh, I was doing a little research and I don't think you can get a camera for less than $7,000 that does 4K 60p internal RAW. We pretty much focus on our cameras only, so we're really happy with the solutions that we have, and obviously with Ursa Mini Pro, we have ways to move up. We have right. Ursa Broadcast, and of course, the Pocket Cinema Camera, so we feel like we've got a real tremendous lineup for anyone that's looking for a professional camera, whether it be an entry level, or this could be an A camera for a student camera, a true broadcaster, or a, someone that's really trying to do high-end cinematography. We feel like we've got a really nice camera selection for people available. Thanks, Dan. I really appreciate you taking the time, and uh, I've got some follow-up questions that Carrie's going to take care of for me. And love your company, and uh, we look forward to seeing your, what uh, this camera does in the marketplace when it rolls out in September. So thanks, everybody, for watching. Please, if uh, you enjoyed this content, like, subscribe, share it with uh, everybody that you know, mom, the kids, grandma, everybody. Talk to you soon. This has been the Hybrid Camera Revolution. More camera power to the people.